Alright man, what's good with y'all? You already know who it is. It's your main man, Trey Zoom. Uh, just wanted to check in with y'all real quick and have this conversation about inner peace um, and the importance of solid solitude in order to obtain inner peace. So, you know, now I live alone and I think that's what's helped me kind of realize and get kind of acclimated with it. Um, my room is right here. As y'all know, my weed was, you know, right here. But with him transferring to Fayetteville State, no other roommate coming in. This guy's down the hall, but you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a homebody. I'm gonna be in the room. So as far as me being in the room, having time alone to think about it and realize the importance of inner peace, I've watched and listened to Malcolm X, Kyrie Irving, J. Cole, Jay-Z, any big name philosopher of anybody who's ever had anything to say about what they went through on their journey to becoming the icon that they were. It's important that you have that knowledge of yourself and the ability to be at peace with just yourself. And I think the, the thing that plagues not only just me, because anything I say, I'm talking to me first, and as well as y'all, is that, like, we can't be okay with just being. We always have to do, we always have to act like, we always got to portray, we always got to put this image out there, and, and, and make things... You know, look a certain way, sound a certain way, feel a certain way, not only for other people, but for ourselves in order for us to intake things and live life and accept it for what it is. But I think when you're alone and you're in solitude and you just shut up, as Kyrie said, like you just you get different perspectives on things and things come to you clear more clearly. Things begin to become visual in like a, a, a mental sense, you can see them inside of your head before they ever even leave your mind for you to have to portray or speak or act out for someone, you know. Earlier today, we were riding back in the track meet on the bus. We stopped at Golden Corral and we went in the Golden Corral. We got our seats. And before we got up to go get our food, because it's a buffet style restaurant, you know, coach was like, hey, you guys got to wait for them to come take your drink orders. Then you can get up and go get whatever you want. Cool. So the lady comes to the table. She takes our drink orders. I'm like, cool. I tell her what I want to drink. Go get my food. Come back. Go get another plate. Come back. So I got two plates on the table and there is no, my drink still hasn't come. None of the table's drinks have come. So I just go up to the lady. I'm like, hey, excuse me. Could I get so-and-so? And then I told her what I wanted. Um, and one lady was like, you know. The lady at our first asked, she was like, oh, that's not my job. You got to ask her. And I was like, okay. I wasn't trying to be rude. And I was just like, okay, could I get it? You know what I'm saying? And she was like, oh, yeah, of course, of course. She went and got it for me. Boom, handed it to me. Walked back around the corner. But it was just a cup. So I'm like, hey, can I get a straw? I had to call her back. Excuse me, can I get a straw? She was like, oh, I'm sorry. Boom, got a straw. I said, oh, thank you so much. She just walked off before, you know, AI even said anything. She was already on to the next thing. Right. So she's in her job. She's in her space. She's in her setting, how she makes her money, how she supports her family. So there's a lot of things going on. She's trying to keep up with it all. But in the midst of that, you know, I'm standing there. I know she's busy. It's Golden Corral. It's like 6 p.m. dinner time. Everybody's there. She knows she's busy. She clearly had, you know, kind of forgotten to bring the drink out. And it was just like the way that I was standing there talking to her, putting on all these respectful mannerisms, waiting patiently and trying to you know, bear with her as she went through her job, it, it didn't, um, it dawned on me that I was like, she's not even, I don't even think she's, she's realizing, you know, the act that I'm putting on waiting for the drink because she's so deep in her act of playing a server at Golden Corral. And there's nothing wrong with either one of us being in those acts, but when it becomes overclouded to the point where every day in our life we're going throughout our day being who we're supposed to be, that when we get back home in our own settings, we can't accept who we are. I know I'm not the only one who goes through it. I know I'm not the only one who's experienced this, but, you know, things can be hard to accept, hard to um, come to terms with, have inner peace about, or really just take in 
if we're so busy trying to play this role or that role for this person or that organization or this body of counsel. And I feel like if we stick to our body of counsel, what we know, who we are, who we truly were born as, and who we are when we tell ourselves, you know, who we want to be and who we stand for and blah, blah, blah. If we can really come to terms with that every day and just take time out for ourselves and have that level of camaraderie with ourselves, be there for ourselves, then, you know, I think it'll really, really help us out. But like I said, just wanted to come tell y'all that and, you know, kind of hopefully it all wrapped together and made sense. But um, solitude is important. I've realized so much just from being in solitude. I still got a long way to go. But when you take that solitude and then you bring it out into the real world for the people that you walk past every day and you see who has solitude and who hasn't been in solitude or who understands the importance of alone and oneness with yourself and the people who don't understand the point and don't understand that concept, then things begin to, uh, they become a lot clearer. We'll just say that. But um, y'all know what it is, man. It's your main man's Trey Zone. I love y'all. Zoom love y'all. Y'all know this. Uh, we spread in positive energy, positive vibrations, peace, wellness, love, happiness, safety to all uh, brothers and sisters, kings and queens, different types of people from all around the world. Ziggity, ziggity out.